Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is coming from Edo State. We know last week um, the news broke out that Governor Gordon Obaseki dethroned a traditional ruler and gave, uh, he gave his reasons for doing that, that uh, uh, the traditional ruler was not supporting peace and he was not working um, towards, uh, 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 he was w w not working in line or working together with the state government to see that uh, peace um, uh, remains in that community. After that news broke out, you know, um, a lot of reactions came um, with um, people speculating that um, it might actually be political, that um, it looks like a revenge game and all of that. But um, right now, the one we're getting is that the community has actually um, replied Governor Gordon Obaseki as they kick against um, um, what Obaseki has just done. They've taken their own decision as well. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, my beautiful people, please, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The political tussle between the camps of the governor, Gordon Obaseki of Edo State, and his erstwhile political godfather and former governor of the state, Comrade Adam Soshomole, took a new dimension over the weekend as Governor Obaseki dethroned the traditional head of Uzano clan in Esako East local government area of the state and revoked the entire clan merging it with Wepa Wano clan. Uzano is the country home of the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clement Agba, a non-ally of Oshomole, who has been at loggerheads with the incumbent Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu over the control of the entire Esako politics. While the state government hinged its action on an alleged non-adherence to peace initiatives between the dethroned Oila of Uzano clan, His Royal Highness Benjamin Ikani, and his neighbor, the Igode clan. The Uzani clan interrogated the action and ascribed it to political vendetta on the part of the government. The detriment of the Oilola and the scrapping of his clan has veded a statement endorsed by the Secretary to the State Government, SSG, Mr. Osaridon Ogi which stated that the state government has also withdrawn the appointment of His Royal Highness Benjamin Ikani as the Oiler of Uzani clan of Southeast Uneme with immediate effect. According to the statement, the action is predicated on the incessant and flagrant disregard to peace agreements and government directives to maintain peace in Uzanu community and its environment by the Iola. But in a swift reaction, Uzano clan, in a press statement issued by the Secretary of Uzano Progressive Union, Kabiru Idris, described the action of the state government as political, attributed the action to an alleged political difference between the Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu and the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Agba, who is from Uzano. The community maintained that the issue of boundary dispute between Uzanu and Igode had long been resolved through the courts up to the Supreme Court. Hence, that should not be a justifiable reason for the government's action. This issue has been on for over 50 years and we are fully settled through a series of litigations initiated by Igode community in Wepa Wano clan through Chief Augustine Almi Kena in suit number HAU slash 28 slash 78, delivered by the Honorable Justice J.B. Amisa of the Auchi High Court on the 20th of November 1979, and the suit number HAU slash 13 slash 72, delivered by Honorable Justice J. Omoebo on the 10th of August 1973. All the decisions in this suit were in favor of the Uzanu community. They appealed to the Supreme Court. Number 386-74, filed by Igode community in Wepa Wano clan, was dismissed for what of diligent prosecution on 26th of January 1976 
as presided over by Justice J.S. Sowe Mimo, while another appeal number SC-111-74 was struck out, the statement disclosed. It is clear from the above fact that the Edo state government is oppressing the Uzanu community simply because of political differences between Governor Godin Obaseki and the Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Agba, Uzani clan maintain. We therefore appeal to the Edo state government and the people of Igodi to let Uzanu people live in peace. The statement further pleaded. The deputy governor had earlier at an enlarged meeting between the warring communities threatened that the Edo state government would be forced to issue an arrest warrant on Prince Agba over what the deputy governor termed as the minister's role in fanning the ember of war within communities in the state. With the dissolution of the Ozano clan, the Ozano village has been returned under the leadership of His Royal Highness George Egabo the Okumagbe of the Uwano Kingdom as the office of the Oliola created by Governor Obaseki on December 28, 2018 from Agbete Uneme clan will no more exist. So, Uzano community, um, they've actually kicked against um, the action of um, Edo State Governor, Governor Godin Obaseki and they've tied it to that this is purely politically uh, motivated and uh, you know when the news broke out the title was um, so interesting the title came out as um, governor godin obaseki dethrones um uh prince clem agba's king the king of uh where clement agba is from uzanu the uzanu um community and uh, we know what's been going on um clem agba um recently governor godin obaseki stated that um, he was going to um, open an investigation into the 30 billion era and Benin water storm project that involved Clem Agba and also Adam Soshomole. But uh, Obaseki gave his reasons for dethroning this monarch. However, we've seen that um, this traditional ruler uh, is been stated that uh, whatever peace the governor is talking about, that has long been settled. They gave the date where those land disputes were settled uh, from 1973 all through to 19. 79 they had the different dates you know when um the the news broke out uh, governor Gordon obaseki took this action the speculations were going around that it was politically motivated right now is the amazonian community who has stated this right now that all they can see that um, is politics all playing out here because uh, philip shaibu has got um, some uh, uh, some issues with claim agba it's interesting to note anyway guys let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye